Hello, Illinois educators. Want to give you a quick update today on how to use group sessions for Study Island. This is a great way to have your kids engaged as a group at one time so that everybody's working on the same skills um, in a couple different ways. We're going to look at how we, we do that in a traditional question format as well as a couple of gaming opportunities. So this is a great way to keep your kids engaged, whether in the classroom or in a distance learning environment. So first of all, we're gonna to go to our teacher page. When in doubt with Study Island, always go to the teacher page. And on the right-hand side, you're gonna see the different ways that we can create assignments. We have videos on creating a practice and instruction assignment, creating a built test. Uh, Jason's done a, a couple of great uh, videos on those. So take a look at those as well. But we're gonna to go to create a group session. Here we're gonna select our class. Once we've submitted that, we get a couple of, a few options of how to uh, present the, the group session to our kids. So the checkpoint is a traditional um, question format. They're gonna see it just like they're gonna see it in Study Island. The challenge format is a teacher-led timed quiz. This is um, something similar to, to what you would see in other type of um, uh, question type programs um, out there. So this is using our Study Island questions that have already been made to create those challenges, uh, those challenge assignments. And then we have a race, uh, which is a competitive quiz so that uh, students are uh, rewarded for how well or how quickly they, they race against the clock. Depending on the uh, subject matter, depending on uh, the kids, really each of these are designed with, with different uh, purposes in mind um, so that, that each student is comfortable and each student feels like they've uh, really shown their level of mastery on each subject. So I'm gonna show you the, the checkpoint. We're gonna create that assignment now. We're gonna give it a title. I'll just call it checkpoint. Here it gives me a couple of options. Uh, we want to show the question and we're going to select. I have, a, I have two options here. I can select from my built test library. So I can look at uh, those tests I've already built or I can build in for practice topics, which we'll look at today, assuming that you hadn't uh, built the test yet. But right here we have that opportunity. And I can also select my practice questions, which I'm going to say yes to. So here, uh, let's say I'm a fifth grade teacher. And I want to look at some math questions. Let's go powers of 10. So as we look through building questions, we always can select the question type and the DOK level. So I want to pull in, I want to take out traditional multiple choice questions. And from my practice set, you'll see I'll get a drag and drop question. Select all. Once I've done that, I can save those questions. And if I want to pull in from a different standard, I can do that as well. Again, I can filter out the question type and the DOK. We'll just for our purposes add one more. Save those. And I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom, select my class, which I've already done, but if I'd like to give that to another class here, I'm, I'm free to do that as well. And then I start my session. So the questions that I've selected at this time, my students are seeing those exact questions at the same time. So this is really, really good uh, for a uh, think aloud activity or determining how to strategize on answering certain questions. This is a drag and drop question. I could talk about how I, I might uh, approach this by finding one of the correct answers first, moving on to the next. Select all. So we get the idea. Also, here to the right-hand side, I'm going to see my students who have uh, logged in, who are um, uh, the ones that are going to receive these questions, and then they don't have the ability to answer until I hit the Start Polling button. So Start Polling allows them to answer those questions 
uh, live and allows you to get feedback as they're working through. So this is a great way to keep your kids uh, engaged either in the classroom, in a distance learning environment, um, and this is the the checkpoint area, but we also have a couple of gaming features that are uh, available as well uh, to use with your students. So enjoy, uh, really use Study Island for that group session and classroom engagement or distance learning engagement uh, tool. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Enjoy.